Hey guys, so in this video, uh, we're gonna run through a range of rods that are starting to become really popular for us. Um, they're very big over east for tournament anglers, and the range is from Miller rods. So they're all sp quite specific designed rods um, for very specific styles of fishing. So we've got, uh, we're starting to sell a fair few of them and we're getting a lot of interest in them. So we figured we'll just make this video. I'm gonna get Matt, who is our brim estuary light tackle guru, so he likes to claim, um, to run you through every single model that we have and kind of a, a bit about the models, a bit about the rods, what they're, what they're actually designed for and some of the features of each rod. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so Matt is a tournament angler who has come last in a brim comp <laughs> and has also come first in a brim comp consistency so is the key he's he's knows the knows both sides of the tournament scene um but anyway we're gonna we're gonna run through these rods we're gonna give you a look at each model and he's gonna tell you all about them all right so as luke was saying we've got the miller rods in recently and they've been uh, really really popular so today i thought i'd give you guys a quick run through of a few of my favorite models uh when to use them how where why all the specs that kind of thing um so we'll get into it we'll start with the beast buster this is a new one we picked up recently it's seven foot six uh two piece which is a butt joint which comes together at the very top of that foregrip there uh, what that's good for is keeping the blank all in one piece so it gives you a lot more sensitivity, feedback, better casting, a whole lot. It's a much nicer rod to use. It's pretty unique, so it's got a, a very low profile handle, um, not really any foregrip on the on the grip there. And then in front, it's a bit of blank, and then you have, have a foregrip to hold on to. So when you're casting, when you're working your lures, your stick bait, your plastic, whatever it is, you have a lot of feel through the blank, but then when you hook up, you can put that rod butt in into your waist, grab onto that foregrip, and it's in the perfect position to be lifting and fighting a fish underneath the boat and gives you a lot more control and power over the fish. Uh, these are rated at five to eight kilo and cast seven to 28, I believe. So really good for that inshore snapper kind of stuff, um, getting out to the reef and chasing tailor, salmon, out to the fads and chasing dolphin fish even. They match really well with like a 5,000 Certate PE2 or 20 pound line. It's a really nice stick for inshore, even if you go up north and you could chase your trevs and your queenies. It's, it kind of does it all in the inshore salt water. So that's the Beast Buster. The next one we'll talk about is probably the most popular value for money rod we've got and it's the XFLC. So this guy, it's seven foot three, again, two piece uh, butt join, has the skeleton grips, Really, really comfortable, super sensitive. You feel everything through them. Really good blank control. Miller rod, typical um, camo blue finish. Really, really nice rod. It's a bit of a faster action rod. So it's quite sensitive at the tip. Uh, gives away quite quickly at the tip, but then the power comes on in the second two thirds, or the two thirds of the blank below that. It's really powerful. Uh, allows you to steer the fish away from structure. This is a sort of the perfect all round estuary rod uh, in the rivers for chasing brim, flathead, whiting, small tailor in the swan. Pretty much any of that kind of stuff, this rod is perfect for. It's rated, it's rated at two to 10 pound. So what, one to five kilos. So that's that ultralight tip and then that, all the power in the bottom end. Very, very good rod. Uh, running Fuji Alconite guides, tangle free. Really well matched up with a 2000 or a 2500 size reel and maybe sort of six to eight pound rate. Really, really good all round inshore for, for the estuary kind of fishing. The next one I'll show you is the Bass Freak. Now this is a really cool rod. It's the Bass Freak M, so it's the lighter version. It's very unique. Again, it's got those signature skeleton grips with the, with the blue camo finish. It's got a really, really short compact butt. So it's very, very much a finesse rod uh, in tight to structure. I see it being a really cool rod for in, in the freshwater scene when you're in and around trees in those trout streams, uh, like Harvey Dam or in and around those, the, the underwater trees and the sticks there, trying to pull out trout and redfin from structure. Um, so it's, yeah, it's only, only six foot long. A two to five kilo, so it, it is quite powerful in the back end. However, it does have a light enough tip where you're gonna be able to cast your light jig heads, uh, spinner baits, um, throw diving lures, all that kind of thing, vibes. It sort of, it can do it all uh, in a really good uh, compact package. So it's a really unique rod, very, very cool. Um, and we'll move on, whoops. We'll move on to the next rod. So 
This moves into the premium production rods. Uh, so it basically that's what separates them is the hardware. So in the next three rods I'll talk about, they're all running titanium frame uh, mix of silicon and twilight guides, which is basically as good as it gets. Titanium doesn't corrode or rust, uh, ultralight, super sensitive, the best feedback, um, all that kind of thing. And when you pair that with the blanks, the skeleton, skeleton grip seats, uh, it really gives you the ultimate package of a Miller rod. So this one here I've got is the Blade Freak. You can have a look at that one there. If it'll focus. Blade Freak. Um, it's seven foot three, two piece again at the butt. Runs those high end guides I was just talking about. This rod is awesome for throwing your, your bladed or vibe lures, vibration lures off the bottom where you're gonna put a big long cast in let your lure sink down and you're going to slowly hop it and work it back. It's the taper rods are a little bit different. It, it's sort of, it's more of a regular action. And what that means is that when it bends, it bends quite evenly all the way through the blank instead of just the tip and then coming on the power. So it's, while it's still powerful, uh, it's a bit more of an even bend and that can be good for fishing with uh, lures with trebles because trebles can have a tendency to pull out a fish, especially if you're, you're pulling pretty hard. So having a rod which bends evenly all the way through, it really absorbs all the pressure of the fish uh, when they try and lunge away and helps to keep those hooks embedded in the in the mouth it casts really well so you can use it on flats it's not just a vibe lure like you can use it you could use it for plastics and and rolling crankbaits on the flats it's it will do it all but it really is specifically um, a, a, a perfect rod for vibing uh, especially in that deeper water next one is one that is a personal favorite of mine it's the grub freak again seven three two piece same sort of setup, skeleton grips, slightly shorter handle than that Blade Freak. Same sort of guides the whole way through, but a different taper on the blank. I picked this one up recently and started using it, and um, I gotta say, I was very impressed. I bought it with the intent of, of slow rolling grubs and slim swims, um, or tattletail plastics uh, along the flats, and it really excels at, at what it's designed to do. It gives you a really long cast with uh, your light jig heads, um, and when you're winding that plastic back, you have a feel of every single touch and bite. You, uh, you can feel it knocking on sticks and, and wood, and you can, you can feel everything that's going on. And it really gives the advantage when the fish are a little bit more finicky, especially when talking about brim, and they're just grabbing at the tail. Um, it's very soft in the tip, so when they go and pick up that lure, they don't feel anywhere near as much resistance, and it doesn't just pull the hook straight out of their mouth. It really, really helps you to get, get more hookups, especially when that bite is tough. Uh, yeah, so it casts a mile, really sensitive, and then after that soft tip, it's all power. Like in the snags, you can pull fish out, no problem. Again, with the other rods, uh, a 2500 size reel and about six to eight pound braid is probably perfect. And the last one I'll show you is the Twitch Freak. Now this is the first Miller rod I got um, in the in sort of like light tackle range. And if I was just gonna get one rod, this would probably be it. It's six foot 10, uh, about a two to four kilo rod, running those titanium guides. Uh, again, skeleton grips blue camo finish, uh, but this rod is, it's designed for throwing little jerk baits and, and, and bib lures and, and really twitching them and ripping them back and making them start, stop and start and dart around. But I, I found when I was using it, I, I pretty much did everything. I, I threw soft plastics, uh, threw vibes, <laughs> threw jerk baits, um, I threw brim prawns, like pretty much everything with this rod. It's the ideal length and power where you can fish structure, you can fish flats. Uh, it's really comfortable in the hand. If you're in a bit of tight cover, if you're on land base, you can still get a good cast out of it. Uh, very accurate casting. It's just really the ideal rod if, you, if, you know, if you're just starting out and you just want something to do the majority of things, this would be what I'd be looking at. Um, it's a cracker of a rod. Um, so yeah, that's the Twitch Freak. There we go. So now that's all the rods I've got here to talk about at the moment. There are plenty of other rods within the range. Um, you've got like the Brawler, uh, there's a Vibe Freak, there's a heap more. And we actually have some new rods on the way, which have just been announced. There's the Crank Freak, uh, the Flats Freak, and two Pitch Rods. So uh, two very, very good. I'm very excited about the new Brim Rods in terms of Flats Fishing. Um, they're going to be a really good addition. And then those Pitch Rods are going to be more targeted to your inshore saltwater guys looking at snapper and mulloway. Um, they're gonna be absolutely mint rods. So keep an eye out for those. Um, when this video drops, they might even be out. Uh, but have a look on the website, head to tacklewest.com.au. Um, check out the range in there, or better yet, come into the shop, come and see us. Um, we'll be able to run you through each and every one, put your reels on, match them up, and get exactly what you need. So yeah, that's the Miller Rods.